I did interview him in the uh, locker room about 20 minutes before our show on the air here, and I said, what's your real name? He said, I'm Florida. So, hail from New York City, and uh, if it's not his real name, he wouldn't give me the real name. Well, see, there's the tip off right there. If he's so smart, why the hell is he living in New York City? You don't like New York City, right? Oh, what just, an oh, arm fit that. Oh, come on. Now, we're here in Brooklyn, beautiful Flatbush area of Brooklyn, New York. Flat, Ralph Cranston used to live here. That's right. It's, it's grand, it's expensive, it's dirty. You come down and visit me in Orlando and I'll show you clean and beautiful and cheap. I don't know, Bill After. I'm going to step up here and defend New York. Larry, that's where people go when they retire. Florida, come on. job as the third man in the ring tonight. Oh! There's a kick to the midsection. Yeah. Or below. Did that go below? I didn't see that that went below. It was I close, was, brother. Was it? Okay, borderline. Borderline. I am smarter now taking time out to argue with the fans, giving Greg a, a chance to uh, recoup. And there's a face rake by I am smarter. Okay, I am smarter. Take a lot of shortcuts, kids. You know, little bumps to the eyes. See how he does with this suplex. He got hey, he's what we used to call a dirty wrestler, Larry. Larry what wouldn't. When you say that? Larry wouldn't know anything about that. Come on, Bill. Come on. You started off your career, Larry Zabisco, on the straight and narrow path of your hero, Bruno Sarantino. Yes, I did. You did, and then what happened? Why well, did we came to the crossroads, and uh, you know, Bruno got very frustrated because he couldn't compete with the younger, future living legend, attacked me with a chair. I took it away and defended myself, and the rest, uh, you know, became history at Shea Stadium. But that that whole situation made you a much more aggressive wrestler than you actually started out. Well, I had to be because everybody was after my reputation. Even guys like Ric Flair who were afraid to get in the ring with me. And Hogan who was afraid to get in the ring with me. That's nice bridge. We never saw you against Hogan. They wouldn't get in the ring with me. Why? They were just afraid well, I was a wrestler and they were a clown. I am smarter working over Greg Hoagies right now and also having a little something to say to the crowd. And uh, the crowd's letting him know how they, how they feel about him tonight, Larry. Thank you. 
very, very, very strong to do. He wasn't gonna grab the man in the right position around the kidneys where his, his own weight pulls him down and, and it's almost like a kidney punch and just keeps squeezing. It's very painful. I don't know if this guy's strong enough. Bruno would, would do a bear hug. Well, I am smarter than to look like a Bruno. No, no, certainly not. And uh, um, oh, the bear hug please. used to be a submission move, but with the, uh, the way wrestlers are chiseled and the way they wrestle today, it's so different than the Bruno days that it's not a submission move anymore. There's not too many guys as strong as Bruno anymore that can do that. I mean, you really have to be a monster to make a bear hug work. I, I rarely heard you I just called him a monster. He was just a monster. I am smarter than Bruno. And I am smarter is in charge right now up in the ring. And it's Greg Hoggies or Hoggies. H-O-G-Y-S. So at home kind of pronounce it any way you like. Is that side? Is that side headlock? Oh, and getting a oh, a classic sleeper. I am smarter with a sleeper hold, and again, this used to be a definite submission move if it's applied correctly. Well, it's even beyond submission. You just block the blood going to the brain and make the man unconscious. He was, he couldn't even submit. He was out cold. But again, boy, you really got to know how to hook that hold in. I can't see from this angle, but he didn't have it hooked good enough. Greg turned it into a, a, into a, uh, a face breaker. Jaw breaker, but what's the difference? Well, actually, it reverberates through your whole face, which is why I choose to call it a face breaker. Well, I am smarter. Oh, there's a hip toss. Into the rope. Oh, oh. A close line. Bam, bam. Yeah, well, they both had a good idea at the same time. And they're both down. Let's see whose stamina kicks in. Let's see who can get on their feet first. Our referee counting. It's up to three. They gotta get up. Place your bet. They gotta get up by ten. Looks like Greg, with the help of the ropes, is getting up first. I am smarter, just about up. Greg lifting him up. Oh, I am smarter kicking. Couldn't hold him down for the three count. Yeah, didn't hold him down. That was close call. I am smarter. He's on him. Front chancery and a reversal. I am smarter going for the quick hit again. One, two, only the two count. Greg realizes also how important it is here at WPW not to lose. Package. And he got it. You know, they 